Hi and welcome to a new vlog. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at uh, a few different models of buzzers, piezo buzzers that you can find these days on the uh, uh, usual websites AliExpress, eBay and Banggood. Uh, I'm especially interested in the output level of these uh, different buzzers uh, and for for measuring that I got this uh, sound meter from Unity. I ordered it from uh, Banggood. It was on offer. I paid uh, $10 for it. I believe now you can get it for around $12 or $13 but uh, I will place links in the description below for other sources as well so you can check it out. So it's supposed to uh, measure sound from 30 up to 130 uh, dB. I believe this is the um, uh, maximum error which is plus or minus 1.5 uh, dBs. We're not really interested in absolute measurements here. We're just trying to compare between these uh, buzzers. So I think this uh, will do the job just fine. There are other brands as well available. You don't have to go for Unity, but uh, I also have a couple of multimeters from them. So it's not such a strange thing to go for the same brand when you need a new instrument. So let's see, does it come with batteries? Oh, yeah, it comes with batteries installed. So I wonder what will happen if uh, this meter will stay on the shelves for, I don't know, more than one or two years. Will these batteries leak? Most likely, yes, because I don't think these are any uh, good quality batteries. So I will exchange those after this uh, experiment. But here is something that caught my eye. It looks like this is a piece of solder, melted solder. Yeah, I believe this is like from production. This is a piece of molten solder. And also the plastic is a bit melted right here on this edge. So the quality control is not great on the line where they manufactured this, uh, this meter. This is just some uh, uh, windproof uh, sponge and in here you have the mic. You don't get any backlight on this uh, meter but what I like is that I have the min max function so I can use that to record the maximum output level of these uh, buzzers. But for a start let's get a base level measurements of just the noise I have here in my lab. So we are around 36, 37 uh, dBs ambient noise. Now some of these buzzers are active, which means they have active circuitry inside that will drive the piezo element at its uh, at the optimal frequency. But others are just passive, so you need external circuitry to drive that. I'm going to be using uh, an Arduino for doing that. I have a very sk simple uh, sketch running that will go through uh, different frequencies and will uh, uh, stay on each frequency for about three seconds. That should be enough for this uh, sound meter to record the maximum level. And then we'll see uh, each of these buzzers on which frequency they got the maximum output. And then we'll, we can also compare between them to see which had the highest output. All of these uh, buzzers uh, start working at 3.3 volts, but mo most of them are rated for 5 volts, so I will be driving them at 5 volts to get their maximum output. But there are also these uh, bigger ones, which are rated for up to uh, 24 volts, so I think I will be trying running these at 12 or maybe even 24 volts, and uh, judging by the size of the piezo element, and by the fact that uh, I can apply 24 volts, I'm pretty sure that uh, these uh, bigger ones will be the winners. But even so, we'll do our test and see what we get. On the breadboard, I have a simple transistor circuit. It's an NPN transistor, which is uh, pulsating the negative rail to the uh, buzzer. We're going to start with this uh, little guy. Here is its uh, part number. So we're measuring at around 5 centimeters distance from the exit of the buzzer. 
I'm going to activate the min max function function and then I'm going to start the code to go through the different frequencies. This is the second buzzer we're going to be looking at. This is our third buzzer, no markings on this one, but I do have its uh, part number. I'm going to position the breadboard like this, so that it points uh, directly into the microphone. This is our fourth uh, buzzer, no markings on this one, just an SMD package. Our next uh, buzzer is an active buzzer, so there is no point in uh, applying any PWM signal to this buzzer. You just apply 5 volts and the um, frequency generator circuit is, in, is integrated inside this uh, plastic package. So we'll just plug this one on the 5 volts rail. But remember, you have to remove this uh, seal before using uh, this uh, buzzer. It is used during production to protect this uh, port right here, so you don't get any substances getting on the piezo element, because you might uh, send your bo board through a washing cycle. So uh, this will be uh, removed uh, on the final inspection of the board. In our case, we need to remove it now. It's interesting how in this case, by varying the uh, position of the buzzer towards the microphone, I was able to get 3-4 uh, dBs extra. Our sixth model is an active buzzer which takes between 3 and 24 volts. So we're going to be uh, powering this one at its uh, full rated voltage, 24 volts, and see what kind of output we're getting out of this. Well, so this far, this one is clearly the winning. Uh, that was a very, very loud beeper. And the last model we are taking a look at uh, today is uh, this one, which also takes between 3 and 24 volts. I'm not sure this one is an active buzzer. It might be judging by the PCB in here, but we're going to see that in a moment. Well... I had to stop immediately on this one. It was uh, it was really really powerful. We got 126.3 dBs, and it was uh, painful. Uh, this one really exceeds my 
level of tolerance in terms of uh, noise level. So I'm, it's pretty clear that this one is the winner. So I collected all the data measurement from this experiment and organized it in this uh, table. For the uh, active buzzers, I had to do an FFT on the recorded sample to find out the uh, frequency. I uh, recorded the highest peak frequency, which is uh, shown here in the table. As we can see, the clear winner is buzzer number 7. Um, it's an active buzzer which puts out 126 dBs at 3.3 kHz. Next uh, goes buzzer number 6 with 119 dBA at uh, 3.1 kHz. And we can start to see a pattern here that the size of the buzzer as well as the voltage will mean a lot in terms of the output power. But we can also see that uh, buzzer number 2 went over 100 uh, dBA with a much smaller package. In that case, I believe the way the buzzer is built with this uh, port on the side does help a lot to increase the uh, output level. I tend to use active buzzers lately. In fact, uh, this one right here, buzzer number 5, is my go-to buzzer. I have a bag of these. And uh, it's very simple to use one of these because the circuitry is already integrated and they're tuned for the right frequency. Sometimes, if you need to have more complicated uh, notifications, you might want to have your own circuitry to be able to drive it at uh, different uh, frequencies. Here is for comparison a chart I found uh, online that uh, shows uh, a comparison between different uh, DBA levels and common noise sources that a human would encounter. As you can see, the graph basically stops at 110 dBA because you don't encounter sources over that value that often. So standing near a 120 dBA buzzer like I did today is certainly not something you'd want to do because it might hurt your ears according to this graph. It is higher than uh, a jet fly flying over at 100,000 feet. For example, if I were to ever redo an experiment like this, I would uh, use some kind of uh, ear protection. As usual, there will be links in the description below for the items uh, shown in this video. However, some of the uh, buzzers used in here are just salvaged from motherboards, so they can't be found on the usual sources. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next week.